Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Piper. I just wanted to cover a couple of things today. I am going to be reviewing Wet n Wild uh, mascaras and also two metallic Milani lipsticks. So that's kind of all I got. Short video today for you. Hope you enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I picked up, I know it sounds kind of weird, but um, sometimes, you know, you, you get to use and try out new things from the drugstore by the holidays. So I got the holiday box of the Wet n Wild mascaras. I was really excited to try this out. I hear a lot of people really like them, and I wanted to see if it was still the same for me because I still have problems finding a really good mascara that I enjoy. I have yet to find one that I'm I'm gonna stick with like it's my go-to. I don't really have a go-to yet so still working on it. Okay so this one's supposed to be mega volume and I'll be honest I've used these uh, off and on for the last week or so and they all seem they all seem similar. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm having, I mean, all of them but one, one is different. So this is what it looks like, the applicator, you can tell. The problem with this is that I have little bitty eyelashes, so it doesn't work for me. I've found that the little prongs are easier for me to use for my mascara, and I like that. Because this really doesn't feel like it does anything on my, on my lashes, I'm gonna be honest. So volumizing, I can't even layer it. I can't even coat it the first time. I did use this also after another mascara that separates and, and moves them up, and it works great after that. So not this one, not just this one, the other one. So I find that if you use ones that have bristles very much like the Max Fanatic Cat Eye Mascara, this one right here, if you notice, it's kind of weird to open these little prongs this little prong thing here the little gookie but you can tell that helps to separate the little lashes so it's very helpful i do like that the only problem i have with this one is you can't layer it and if you try to wait a bit and then put a second coat on i find that it clumps and it's still wet and that's like five ten minutes later it's weird i don't know i don't know but if you use an applicator like this before you use any of these other ones, they tend to work better. I have little bitty eyelashes, like I said, so I mean, that might be my problem. The Mega Impact one, this one right here, again, same kind of applicator. They tend to use these big ones, um, and, and I, I feel like this little packaging is really dry, so it didn't coat my mascara, my eyelashes like at all. And I think it also might have to do with the applicator because it ex I guess they expect you to have bigger eyelashes than I do. I don't know. The next one is the Mega Plump. It's the pink one. Again, I didn't even get anything. No plumpness here. So same applicator. I, I don't know if it's literally the same formula in each one of these because it felt like the same formula every single time. I didn't see a difference. This one is mega length. Um, again, same, same concept. And it did the same thing to my eyelashes. Um, I think these are really good for a second coat kind of mascara, but it's definitely not the go-to to start with if you have small lashes. This might work if you have longer lashes. I don't know, but I'm not really a fan. Not really a fan. I want to be a fan. I'm going to keep at it, and if things change, I'll update you. So that's kind of all I have for those. And yeah. Okie doke. All right, now we are going to get started on the Milani metallic lipsticks. I only have two of them, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, so random help. These are pure and gentle makeup removers. Did it turn me white that entire time? Okay. I picked these up at Walmart and I'm not, I don't normally shop at Walmart, but I wanted something cheap and I think I paid a dollar, 88 cents or something. I like these. They're, they're, they're actually wet. 
I like it. Anyway, that was not supposed to be in my review, but it is now because the layers are good. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use from BoxyCharm the Lip Revival by, what is this by? Beauty For Real. So I've showed y'all before. It's very fine. It's not like a Jeffree Star lip scrub. Citrusy. Reminds me of Christmas too. What is that? Ginger? No. It's orange and it's a seasoning. <gasps> clove. Huh? Orange and clove. Now I wonder if it says it on the packaging and I just didn't pay attention to it. We'll see. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. All right. First things first. So I only have two Milani lipsticks. I was only able to grab two of them whenever I did look at this. And I wasn't a huge fan, so I didn't go back and purchase another one. They smell so good. They like icing. <laughs> So this one is uh, Amore Metallics Lip Cream. It is in the color Matte About You. The reason why I'm not reviewing these right after they came out, I know they came out a while ago, a year maybe, no, six months or so ago, and I think everybody and their mama reviewed it, but I had somebody asking me to go through all of my lipsticks and do swatches on them, so these are in the bundle that I have. All right, I I don't like the applicator. Do my lips look that big? I have little bitty lips. Do you see what I mean by icing? It's just super soft. This applicator sucks. Alrighty then. As it does dry down, um, it tended to get a little bright. It was kind of weird, so I didn't wear this very often because it it looks weird. I don't know, can't explain it. The chips, not not really chips. It almost like. It just comes off like dry. It's too, it's almost too matte. I don't know, I've, I didn't buy, I haven't bought any of their regular matte lipsticks, so I don't know how this compares. But I do know that it's very weird. I don't know, it's flaky, it's real, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a fan. The other lipsticks that I've said that remind me of uh, these Milani lipsticks, like the Ciate, or I don't know how it's said. And then actually the Ofra, those wear and feel better than these. Um, I mean, it's see, it seems to be the same type of formula and consistency, but they don't flake like these two. Like the Milani ones, the Milani ones flake. The Ofra doesn't flake and neither does the other Ciate London or whatever that I had for my Ipsy bag or your Ipsy bag if you got it too. So those are much better products than these. All right, so, madly about you. Not madly about you. Alrighty then. Okay, so the next one that I have is Madly in Love. It's the red one, which is not really, it's not really that red. It's got a weird sheen to it, too. And I thought I would really love it, but these applicators, though. Like I see. Worst application ever. This is one that I actually like wearing. It's a beautiful color. It's not quite a red. It's more like a masochist color from Jeffree Star, so it reminds me of that. Uh, it wears long. It doesn't wear off bad. It doesn't stain you either. 
again, I really just, I hate the applicator. Maybe if you use a little brush or something, um, you might have easier time putting it on. Other than that, this one doesn't flake as bad as this one. Not a fan. So, Mad About You is not my favorite. It, it's just not my favorite. I do like this one. All right, so these are the only two that I have. Obviously, you can tell why I didn't buy another one. I don't like this one. And I do like this one. I hate the applicator. Who knows? <sighs> you just can't have it all. Like I said, if you are looking to get any Milani lipsticks, I do like this one better than the other one. It does last a very very long time. You might have to touch up the inside of your mouth. It's not that expensive, so you should try them out. Not this one. Not this one. Yes, this one. Anyway, that is all I have for you today. Y'all have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.